Hey miners, Mining King here. Today, we're gonna learn how to CPU mine Darrow. But before we get into that, here's a word from our sponsor. Fluxpools.net would like to announce a new weekly lottery for loyal miners that support their project. As you might already know, Fluxpools is operated by the people from the Flux team as they want to provide a safe and transparent mining experience. While the Flux project does not take directly from the pool, they do give a portion of the fees back to the Flux project because they understand that both the project and the miners are what makes this pool possible. Flux Pools has given away nearly 5,000 Flux a month back to miners. The new Flux lottery gives five lucky winners $50 each in Flux each week when you have a 95% uptime on your rig. There will also be a bi-weekly winner who maintains 99.5% uptime. That winner will receive 1.7 kilosoles of hash rate for 48 hours to their wallet. Fluxpools has also announced a 0% mining fee and 1% parallel asset fee forever. This on top of the weekly loyalty program, you can also earn up to three flux per week. That giveaway prize will be sent directly to the mining address and nowhere else. Furthermore, fluxpools.net has just launched a Neoxa pool with a minor loyalty program where you can earn up to 1,000 Neoxa for up to one giga hash each week with 0% mining fee for the first 30 days. Please do not mine directly to an exchange as your rewards may be lost as a result. Come see why fluxpools.net is a great place to mine. All right, miners. So today we're going to be checking out Darrow, which is uh, a CPU uh, mining coin. So it's uh, it's been gaining some you know some traction here and there. There's also going to be a Darrow poker tournament. So be sure to watch Discord and some of the YouTube channels to make sure you guys can register for that. It's just like the Aeon poker tournament that we just had, but this is also going to be sponsored by the Darrow Foundation. So. You guys may want to watch this video so this way you guys can make a wallet so that way you guys can win some Darrow in the poker tournament. And it will be on Poker Stars just like the Aeon tournament. Let's get back to the mining part. We're over here at Darrow.io. So this is their webpage. If you guys want to learn more about the project and read over it, this is where you guys need to find your information. I haven't read all their white paper and stuff like that yet today i'm just going to be looking at mining now i maybe i'll do a follow-up video like after i've read everything in detail and i have a good understanding of it so the first thing that we need to do to be able to mine darrow is we're going to need to use their um we need to download their wallet so we're going to click on downloads and depending upon on which operating the system you have you need to download different versions obviously now this is a command line wallet i had issues uh as i said before um in my previous vid video with xmr but that same night that i was recording that video a uh, huge shout out to big woolly who also had an issue with his daryl wallet and he helped me out and uh run a command which you can then turn into a batch file to run to get your Darrow wallet to actually work in sync with the blockchain. Uh, because mine would just time out and it wouldn't connect to any of the nodes and then it wouldn't let me register my wallet. Which, if you don't register your wallet address, it will not let you mine, period. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna click on, if you have Windows, I'm running this on Windows. So we're gonna click on the client uh, the CLI uh, wallet here. I'm going to click download, open up where it is. I always like to extract the files myself. Now you see Windows. Um, so Windows did pop up as something malicious is trying to go on. Well, that's with any piece of mining software or anything re related to it. I'm going to show you just to run the command because you have to use it in the command prompt in order to get it to work. Um, so you're going to have to, it's going to be dependent upon where you install your particular, um, Daryl wallet. So you'll have to drill down to the, uh, actual, you know, address here. So I'll show you how to do that. So if you just click on this arrow right here, you can see this, um, this is where this is located at, uh, currently on my computer. We're just going to copy. We're going to bring up our command prompt. We are then going to also, um, I'm going to get the command from Wooly here. It was a big help. So we need to get into this 
directory first, okay? In our command prompt. Okay, we're gonna do cd space. And then since we copy and pasted where the address is, this should bring us over to where, where the actual installation file is located. Okay, so now we're in the, you know, all the, we went through all the folders and subfolders, and now we're finally here at the, where we need to have the, where the executable is located, okay? So once you do that, you'll need to run this command, and I will post the command down below in the description, as well as a link for the Darrow Foundation, or I mean, uh, the Darrow website. So the command is Darrow wallet, Darrow dash wallet dash client uh, dash windows dash AMD 64 dot exe dash dash remote. So you're going to hit enter. And then this, this is the Darrow wallet. It is a command line wallet. I hear that the GUI wallet is not great. I'm using their command line wallet. The first thing that we're going to do is, is we're going to make a mining, uh, make a wallet address. So you're going to hit number two on your keyboard and hit enter. Uh, we need to obviously name this. We'll put the mining king. Enter. Now we need to make a password for it. Going to ask us to confirm the password. And then it's going to ask uh for your seed phrase because it will give you the seed phrase and this is just a throwaway account this isn't my real account so i don't care if you have the goddamn seed phrase you can have it if you want so then you, you'll see up here right here this is your your uh 25 words that you have here for your seed phrase okay the next thing that you're going to want to do though is you see this right here this is this is where the blocks are at, and this is where you are at. Okay. Now, if you run, if you run just the regular, if you don't run this command remote, and you run this executable, at least for me, this will just all be zeros, and it will not sync to the thing. You'll hit. It'll say, "Hey, for account registration, press number four, which is what we need to do." What happens to me is, is after thirty minutes, it times out, gives me some kind of an error, and it never goes away. So we're going to hit four. You're going to hit enter. It's going to tell you that uh, this will take a couple of minutes. Please wait. So we'll just wait here a few minutes. But while we're waiting, okay, um, we're going to make a, uh, a batch file for this. So we're going to right click. We're going over here, right click and do new text document. But we are not going to name it a text document. What we're going to call it is, we'll call it Darrow. Uh, Darrow wallet start dot bat and make sure you delete the text part and you name it dot bat you can name it whatever the heck you want to name it but put dot bat at the end of it because it will change it from a text file to a batch file it's going to hit enter it's going to say hey you sure you want to make this change you're going to hit yes Okay, so now we have a now we have a batch file, but it's empty, right? So we're gonna edit the batch file, and when and when you uh, open it up, it will have a notepad here. So what we're gonna do is is we're going to paste in this command, and then we're gonna hit save. Okay, and there you go. You now when you need to start your Daryl wallet, this is how you're gonna start it is with this batch file. That's the way that I had to do it. This executable did not work for me. Maybe it works for you, but if you have problems starting it up, this is a quick and simple solution that will work. So keep that in mind. We're just gonna continue on here and uh, I'll go on to the mining part, but this right here is gonna be your Darrow address. So once it gets registered, because it'll change, you see how it says red here, it says account unregistered. Eventually when it does sync, it'll just say, it'll be green account registered. So we can come over here and we're going to highlight this and you won't be able to right click the copy thing. So you'll have to do control C to copy the address. We're now going to come over to uh, Hive OS and we're inside my farm here. So I'm already mining Darrow, but we're going to come over here and we're just going to make a new wallet, right? So you can come over here, add wallet. 
You're going to do coin ticker Darrow. You're going to paste in your address. And then we're going to come over here to flight sheets. Now you're going to have to make a flight sheet now with your Darrow after you've made the wallet. So we're going to come over here, Darrow, pick our test wallet. Now pools. This is where Darrow, from what I understand, which may not be correct, is supposed to be not mined of the nodes. So there isn't really supposed to be pool mining from my understanding, but there is. I don't understand it all the way, so it's going to take a little more research on my part. But so far, there's two pools, you know, like actual pools on the mining pool, stats.stream. And this one here is wellsburg.com. They have 99.6% of the hash rate. They're finding blocks like every three minutes. So maybe we, maybe we need to mine to somewhere else. Okay, so we're over here at Darrow uh, dash dot node. Uh, my SRV cloud, right? So this is um, one of the Darrow pools. Okay, this is the Britain one. They actually have really good guides here for how to mine Darrow um, in different operating systems. So we're going to come down here, and if you need a Hive OS, Android, Linux, Windows, all of that stuff. All right, we're over here at mining pool stats, and I do realize that Walesburg.com has the most hash rate on the Darrow network. Now, to be fair, I have tried the My SRV Cloud, which they have this great, um, the great how-to guide for Hive OS and you know how to connect to other pools and things like that. So they can t teach you how to do it Linux and Windows, Hive OS, um, great guides. And then they have these uh, other pools that you can use here, but they have this, um, it is called the community-pools.mysrv.cloud port 10300. And every time I've used it, it doesn't connect me to anything. So um, I always get strata mares. I don't know what's going on. I've tried several different ports and made double check to make sure that the addresses are correct so i don't know why it's not connecting for me so in this example we are going to use the um walesburg.com uh, because this is actually what it should look like when you get darrow to mine i don't support like mining to the pool that obviously has the most but this is just an example to show you how it should look when you get this miner going so in our config here we have our Darrow coin, our wallet, we've configured to walesburg.com, which will bring up, you know, I just use this world DNS. And then you just click update and you're pretty much off to the races, right? Now, where can we sell? Is Darrow even on an exchange? Let's go back and look. So they're actually on a couple of uh, exchanges. They're on Trade Ogre which seems to be the highest moving. Yesterday, it was Q, uh, Qcoin, which with their USDT, so it's right around, it's hovering right around $4, which is a pretty good price, I'd say. So you could use Trade Ogre, Qcoin, or CoinX. There's also another one called Stex, but I'm not familiar with that one, so I don't know about using that. It does have the lowest trading volume. So Trade and uh, Qcoin are pretty popular exchanges so it looks like it does have the most uh trading volume right now all right guys well this was just a video to show you guys how to make the Dara wallet how to get mining um and also don't forget to register for when it does come up register for the darrow poker tournament in poker stars all right guys this is the money king giving you the most hashes and i'll see you next time